Hi, this is Pat Rocco, and we're here for Bizarre Productions' new service in front of one of the oldest establishments here in Hollywood. It's a restaurant, and it's called Barney's Beanery. Now, there is a particular protest going on this evening that I think you'll find quite interesting. From what I understand, Barney's Beanery has had a sign inside its bar that says, Faggots, stay out. And there are a lot of people around here this evening who are protesting the use of that sign. We want to be able to get both sides of the story, so first thing we're going to do is go inside Barney's Beanery and talk to some of the owners and some of the people in charge and see what they've got to say. Then in a little while, we'll talk to uh, some of the people who are in the march itself and uh, see what they've got to say. So let's take our cameras right inside and see what we've got here. Good evening. How are you all? I understand that we have here uh, most of the people who are connected with Barney's Beanery. And uh, let's see, uh, you are the manager, are you not? Hey, and your name? Ruth Cabot. Ruth, nice to meet you. And uh, this is uh, Barney's daughter. And you are? Joan Elowitz. Joan. And sir, you are? Erwin Held. Erwin, very nice to meet you. Uh, you all know what's going on this evening, and I'd like to get your comments on it, if you will, so that we can present... Uh, both sides of the story of what's happening. First of all, who can tell us a little bit about Barney's Beanery itself, some of the history of Barney's here? I think uh, this is Barney's daughter. Maybe you can. <laughs> some of the history, like what? <laughs> well, uh, how long has Barney's been in existence? Oh, brother. It's either 1920 or 1927. I can't remember anymore. How long have you been here working at Barney's, or, or is connected with Barney's? Or? As long as I've been living. <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, I won't ask you how long that is. Um, 21. Tell us, in all these, um, in, in all these years now, the, uh, the main idea, of course, that's happening tonight is the sign that's in protest. Um, when did the sign go up? 1959. And what was the purpose of putting the sign up? To discourage the faggots from coming in. I see. Did you have problems at that time? Is that the, why the sign went up? There, there were problems prior to that. There was, uh, the vice squad had a, a raid in here, and uh, it took us two years to clear the name. If the name was, if Barney's Beanery name wasn't clear, then the, the uh, liquor license would have been suspended, but the name was cleared and everything was straightened out, and as a result, Dad put the signs up. There was a total, I think, of eight or ten signs throughout the whole place, but they just stayed in the bar. And now you're down to one sign. Is it one? I, I don't know. We should have time to the other <laughs> okay. Um, well, now, what do you feel about what's happening this evening? Evidently, there are a lot of people who are protesting the use of that sign. What are your personal feelings about that? Well, that's their privilege. If they don't like it, they don't have to like it. But I'm not going to pull it down for that reason. Um, what reason would you find um, that would be important enough for you to take the sign down? A legal reason. A legal reason? That would be your only reason. Okay, good enough. Let's get some more comments. What do you think about uh, what's happening this evening? I'm really getting a kick out of it. You're getting a kick out of it? <laughs> All right. Well, that's one good thing. And what have you got to say about uh, the little juxtaposition going on as far as, as, far as uh, people protesting and you being here and uh, you're being the manager. Uh, have you had pers the people who have come to you personally and, and objected or letters or no, telephone calls? No, telephone calls, but that's about it. Had a few telephone calls. Uh, do you think that um, the protesting and the telephone calls are reason enough to possibly do something about the use of this sign? What are your personal no. feelings? No, I don't think we should do anything about it. After all, it's on our own premises, mm -hmm. and I don't see any reason to remove it. Okay. It's part of the place. I see. Very good. All right, let's talk to the gentleman right over here. Sir, um, what is your actual connection with Barney's Beaner? Well, we would be the new owners here uh, as soon as the escrow is complete. We're taking up the establishment. Good. And we hope to continue everything just the same as it has been in the past. And your personal feelings about what's going on this evening, I'd like to very much get your views. Well, we didn't uh, anticipate any problem along these lines, particularly at this time. But as we've told everybody, that uh, anybody that comes in here is welcome to be served, with, be it food or drink, and as long as they behave themselves and not interfere with anybody else. That's their privilege, and the sign will continue, and anybody that may not like it or enjoy it or be able to ease as a result of it, it's a two-way swinging door. It's the same as they can walk in, they can walk out. No hard feelings on anybody's part. Do you find that being uh, in Hollywood, which is the movie capital of the world, and uh, where there are many artistic people, do you find that uh, possibly, getting right down to the point, do you find that many of your customers are homosexuals or gay people who are in the industry and who are also your customers? 
They may be. That's their business. We haven't asked them or taken a census as long as they come in here and whatever they wish will serve them. As long as whatever they do, they do it elsewhere. Do you find that possibly, or have you had uh, an indication from telephone calls or letters or anything that uh, there are people who have been customers who are who object to the uh, use of the sign? Oh, I'm certain there may be a few. By the same token, there are others uh, who have been customers who uh, are more loyal than what they were prior to this uh, occasion happening. Very good. Do you mind if we take a look at that sign and bring our cameras right over to it? Certainly. Okay, yeah. let's do that. Do you think we can follow along here? We've got a way to go. So follow along here with me. We're going through Barney's Beanery, one of the most unique spots in town. This is the restaurant portion, and now we're going through. If we can get our light, here we come. We're going through into the bar, and we'll take a look at uh, the bar itself, some of the people who are standing along here, and we'll get a look at the sign that is particularly in question. It's right up behind the bar over in there, if we can get our cameras onto it. And there it is. It's been there for a number of years now. There have been several all around town, uh, all around the uh, restaurant, uh, as the uh, person indicated earlier, but evidently this is the last one to stay. Okay, now let's go outside and get some opinions about some of the, uh, from some of the uh, people who are pro protesting that sign. Whoops, somebody's tapping my shoulder. Here's a gentleman right over here. Let's see what he's got to say. Yes, sir, your name? Fred Blanchard. Fred, what have you got to say? Here's my only protest. Here's your protest. Okay. <laughs> what have you got to say about the uh, the sign that uh, people are protesting tonight? The sign that says faggots stay out. They're out in the street. I'm in here. Mm -hmm. You know, what the hell? <laughs> okay. That's my wife. All right. But what about the sign itself? Do you feel as if, uh, uh, would you like a sign that would say perhaps niggers stay out or, or uh, Mexicans stay out no, or uh, no. people who have children stay out? No, I just like my children? wife. Okay. You know, that's the premise. I like my wife. Barney's Beaneries. Uh, look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He wants, uh, I don't know, male and female. Well, that's economics. Do you feel that uh, that's, that's a fair thing? They have a right to do that. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's good. And we want your opinion. Now, let's go outside and uh, see what the people outside have got to say. Well, you'd never believe that such a furor could be caused over one little sign. But uh, it certainly is. And there's a lot of people right out here walking in front of Barney's Beatery who are protesting that sign. If I can call a couple of people out of line, we'll see what they've got to say with it. Here's a young lady. May I call you for just a moment? Now, we're talking about the sign uh, that, is, uh, that you're protesting. What does your sign say? Love, love, love. Okay, and the other sign? There is no other sign. All right, what have you got to say uh, concerning the, uh, the sign that's posted inside? It says, yeah. Okay, well, the way I feel is that if they're going to post a sign saying faggots keep out, that's like posting a sign saying no niggers allowed. And in the South, when they had their first protest marches for civil rights, they first started protesting about the signs in cafeterias and other public establishments uh, saying no niggers allowed, and I feel this is a good starting point for us. And also, I was talking to Troy Perry the other day. Now, Troy Perry is the pastor of the Metropolitan Community Church in Los Angeles. Right. Which is a church that openly welcomes homosexuals into its uh, congregation. That's true. That's just to clarify. Right. Okay. okay. Go right ahead. <laughs> okay. Well, I told him that uh, I didn't there feel that are. a restaurant legally could refuse to service somebody because of race, color, creed, or religion. And in a sense, there may be some sort of political possible fight that we could use saying that they are uh, discriminating us against us because of our creed. I see. Because homosexuality in some people is self-made and therefore could be considered to be a creed. So this could perhaps come under the First Amendment. I see. Okay, very good. Thank you for talking to me. By the way, I didn't get your name. Melinda Napier. Melinda, thank you very much. Okay, excuse me. Let's see now. There seems to be at least 40 to 50 people here, and there seems to be uh, quite a few other signs available for people to pick up, and I see people coming along the street who are coming to join this group. Let's see if we can uh, find a gentleman in the line to talk to to see what he's got to say about what's going on here this evening. Uh, here's a gentleman carrying a tape recorder. Excuse me, are you from a particular publication? Or I hope from, to be from KPFK, but I am from Tangents Magazine. From KPFK and Tangents. Could you talk to us for just a moment? Surely. Be happy. Fine. Well, why don't you face this way since that's where our cameras oh, are? Oh, our cameras, What's your name? I'm Joseph Hansen, sometimes known as James Colton. 
Okay, Joseph Hanson, James Colton, would you like to tell us uh, what your reasons are for here for being this evening? And, uh, well, we know the reasons, but uh, your personal reasons for uh, objecting to the sign that they have inside. Well, I object to it uh, on the same grounds that uh, a uh, Negro would object to saying niggers keep out. You know, this is uh, this is discrimination uh, on a very basic level, and uh, I don't see why uh, any decent human being that walks on the sidewalk here isn't entitled to come into Barney's and have a drink or eat. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Nice Mr. talking Cole. to you. Well, the signs and the protesters are going on here, and uh, the line has grown considerably. I see a gentleman here who was connected. Uh... Excuse me, sir. Can I call you over for just a minute? Uh, could you give me your name, please? I'm Morris Kite. And uh, here are cameras over here so we get a good look at All you. All right. You, uh, uh, tell us a little bit about what, uh, what your participation is this evening. Well, I founded the Gay Liberation Front in Los Angeles because I thought that it was time for one. And my position here tonight is just to be along to march with my associates to complain about this particular injustice, and that's why I'm here. Okay. How many people do you have here with you this evening? I think about 50. Uh, we march until 10 o'clock. That's presume... about two hours from now. Yes, it'll grow up in 100, 150, who knows, whatever it is. It's a determined group, and that's important. It's the spirit, the determination. Okay. We're Correct. just delighted with the way it's going. You know the issue here is that this restaurant here, Barney's Beanery, has been here a long time, 50 yes, years, and uh, they have a sign saying, Faggot, stay out. Now, it doesn't offend me awfully, but it offends everybody else. I think it's sort of funny in a way, and uh, I don't need to come here, but a great many people would like to. And uh, they think that this sign comes out of an antique American idea, which should have gone out of style, along with niggers stay out, no Mexicans or dogs allowed. And these kinds of things have to, have to go. Now, what we really would like, uh, Mr. Rocco, is to have the sign retained, but changed. How would you change it? X out the stay out and say, faggots welcome. That we would consider a victory. Okay. Well, Thank you. Thank you for your opinion. Let's take a look at some of the signs. Hey, 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 way up front, way up gay. Hey, 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 way up front, way up gay. Hey, 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 way up front, way up gay. Barney's Beanery is definitely the center of attention this evening, right across the street as 50, 60, 70 people are marching in front of Barney's Beanery to protest that sign. Right here across the street, the watchful eye of the police department is uh, keeping careful watch to make sure that uh, no incidents occur. And if we can get in a list a little bit closer, we might even talk to one of the officers and see what he's got to say about what's going on this evening. <laughs> Good evening, officer. Could I talk to you for just a moment? Yes, sir. Uh, evidently, you're here watching to make sure that there are no incidents this evening. Right, right. Um, are you familiar with what the problems are this evening? Well, I, my understanding is that Barney's Beanery has a sign over the bar that says, Faggot, stay out. Mr. Kite and his gay liberation front 
is protesting that sign and alleged discrimination towards homosexuals. That's it. Have there been any incidents so far None this evening? We don't expect any. You don't We've expect talked any. to both people concerned, and they are going to cooperate with us fully, and we're going to cooperate with them. Very good. How many officers are there here this evening to watch over? Just me. Just you? All by yourself? There's another car over there, but they mean they're going to leave after a while. Yeah, huh? These are just the area. This looks like a, a lady officer. I don't think we've had a lady officer on camera before. She's a lovely lady. Could you come up for just a moment? What's your name, young lady? Deputy Swing. Deputy, how long have you been with the police department? Just about a year. A year. What is your function with the police department? Uh, I work just about as well as the men do, about the same things. I see. You're familiar with the problems that they're having this evening with yeah. uh, the sign and the protesters? Yeah. Do you have a personal opinion? No. No personal opinion. Is that kind of a... Uh, thing with the police department that it's best not to give personal opinion? Best way, the impersonal. I see. Yeah. Very good. Okay, we'll go back over to the group. Following the group, we found an awful lot of people who are standing and watching what's going on here. And uh, also, I found in the line here, Reverend Troy Perry, who's the pastor that we talked about earlier. Reverend Perry, could I stop you for just a moment uh, to uh, talk about what's going on this evening? Yes. I see you're carrying a magazine. Uh, and, yes, there's uh, the picture right down. There it is. This is the... Uh, this is Life uh, Magazine? Yes, that's correct. Let me see the date on it. It's 1964. June the 26th, 1964. It's an article about a restaurant in Los Angeles with a sign that says, Faggots Keep Out. The gentleman who put this sign up in this restaurant said he thinks homosexuals should be shot. These are his own words in Life Magazine. We're told, of course, the sign today is a joke. We don't consider it a joke any more than uh, uh, white-only signs or, uh, uh, you know, Mexicans and dogs keep out, this sort of thing. I Homosexuals see. are people, too. I see. Okay, and this came out in 1964. Right. And uh, evidently, uh, the the sign is still up. And uh, Have you talked to any of the owners who got their... Uh, I haven't personally. Other members of the Gay Liberation Front has. Mr. Morris Kite, I believe, talked to uh, the owner-manager of the place, and uh, they said the sign wasn't coming down. We think it's going to. We think it's a good vocal point for the community. Okay, very good. Thank you very Great. much. You're off the line again. See, we have an awful lot of people who are standing by here and just looking to see what's going on. And maybe we can get a couple of comments from people who are just standing by. Let's see. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Hello, hello, hello. Would someone like to give a comment on what they see is going on this evening? Hi. Could you? What's your name? Chuck Gibbons. Chuck, you see an awful lot of people protesting something. What do you think about what's going on? Well, I'm from Canada, and uh, there's really not too much of the, this going on back there that I know of. I was home about two years ago, and uh, maybe it's going to start up there. I don't know. You have, I'm going about back the, the you have a comment about the sign? You know about the sign. The you, sign. You know about the reason for the protest? Yes, they won't uh, be allowed in there. I mean, they probably can go in, but... Uh, they... Well, what do you feel about it? What's your it's opinion? a free country. They should be able to do what they want. Okay, thank you very much. Hi, how are you? Fine, Pat. <laughs> what have you got to say? Oh, you know me? Oh, yes. From do I know you? Seat. Oh, from Metropolitan Community yeah. Church, right. What have you got to say? I, I don't say much about it, Pat. I think it's disgraceful with a sign being up there, such as it is. And I figure it's discriminating against us. And it's knocking down all of what we've worked for. And I figure we're not going to be satisfied until the sign is removed. Okay, thank you. Here's a young lady. I wonder if we could talk to you for a moment. How are you? What have you got to say about what you see this evening going on right over here in front of Barney's Beanery in Hollywood? I think it's out of sight. It's about time. In other words, do you think the sign should be protested the way it's happening? I think that damn sign should be taken down. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, this is Pat Rocco for Bizarre Productions News Film here in front of Barney's Beanery. We hope you've enjoyed what you've seen, and uh, we hope it's enlightening, and we'll see what happens as far as whether that sign is going to go up or come down or just what's going to go on. Thanks for being with us. Good night.